the votes are in and looks like most of you wanted to take a walk through the bullion wonderland. I apologize for not being able to be there in person, but I'm still gonna be your guide and present the wonders of the Intersect tool, which is a new feature introduced a couple of years back that not many people are aware of. It's great because as you can see, it replaces a lot of old tools. It allows you to add and to rem remove geometry from a solid at the same time. For a challenge, ask your colleagues if they can create a solid out of thin air, no sketches. And after they show them how easy it is to just create six planes that are completely encompassing a volume, and by using intersect, you can fill that volume with a solid. Now for more serious stuff, let's take a look at this case study. It's very interesting. I'm starting it, first of all, with the old technology, and notice it takes quite a lot of steps to get it done. And after that, I'm going to show you how easy it is to be done with the intersect command. What I'm trying to achieve is a knife that has the pins completely flush with the outside shape of the handle. Notice the contour is pretty complex. The handle itself is in two pieces and is being cut by the pins. And the blade also has holes for the pins. So everything has to match perfectly. Now let's go back in time and just suppress this eight, nine features that were added in SOLIDWORKS 2012. What I need in, in the current version of the software is just to throw all the solid bodies in one pot, steer very well, and use intersect to identify different regions that are completely bounded by the faces of the existing solids. You can even eliminate some of the regions that are of no interest. So I'm just going to remove the outside of the pins. And I'm not going to merge the results, so it's going to create different bodies, different solid bodies. Now the shape is perfect. If I'm isolating the handle, notice that looks good. So I'm just going to hide the two sides of the handle. Sorry, hide not isolate. And let's see what else needs to be done. Notice the blade is in two pieces, just because there was a face here that was a boundary. So I'm going to run intersect again, asking SOLIDWORKS to merge this time the two sides of the blade. So now they're okay. Let's hide them. What about the pins? Nine different bodies. Again, I'm going to run intersect on all of them. And it's going to merge as much as possible. And notice how they are pretty much done. If I'm showing you the other guys, you can see the whole part is done. Really, really fast. Only three features instead of about eight or nine that I had before. I also did a comparison on rebuild times. And I found out that I cut a lot of time from about eight seconds for the old technology, old, old workflows, to about one second using Intercept. Pretty impressive. The next case study came from Colin Leslie from LAE Technologies in Barrie. Thank you, Colin. He's having a 3D printing business. And his customer gave him the model of a camera body. Very interesting. Unfortunately, I cannot share it with you. So I created my own model, Mr. Smiley. Once Colin printed the model, it came like this with cavities where the lenses were supposed to be. Now his customer wanted them to be actually printed. So maybe the body was in black and the lenses in a clear material. The problem for Colin is the fact that he has no idea where the lenses terminate. So what can he do? Let's close the knife and take a look at the model. So this is what he got. This is what his customer wanted. Let's make a copy of this body. So I'm just going to run the copy command. And since I didn't specify any translation or rotation, the two bodies are going to be one on top of each other. Let me hide the original. And now let's delete these cavities. In SOLIDWORKS, you can do it quite easily using the delete face command. And if you take advantage of the pop-up, you can quickly select the faces that you want to remove. Because I'm using the delete and patch option, the surrounding faces are automatically healed. So now I have two bodies, one on top of each other, but concentrate on faces actually, the faces of those bodies that are completely enclosing regions. So when I run intersect between these two solid bodies, SOLIDWORKS is going to be easily identifying the different rooms 
different volumes, different regions. I'm not going to merge the result. And what I'm getting are the lenses. And I still keep the original body. Pretty good stuff. And now for the bonus, I'm going to show you how to do Boolean operations at the assembly level. This is really, really interesting. And thanks for, to Gerald Davis uh, on the SOLIDWORKS forum who posted this challenge. Imagine that you get a mold, a machine from somebody, and you have no idea what this part is supposed to produce. Or you already know what you have, but you don't know the volume that's between uh, different components of an assembly. So for example, if I do a section view through here, you're going to find out that between the gold part and the red part, there is a gap. So what's the volume of that cavity? When I examine this part, I notice that this is not a, a perfect seal here. So we have to start by sealing the gap between them. Let me model the fluid, the cavity, as a new part inside this assembly. And let's call this fluid. I'm going to edit this component by the assembly level. And let's insert a command that hopefully you guys know about. It's called join. That would allow me to get the geometry, the solid body from any other component into the one that I'm editing. So let's edit the part in its own window in order to move the faces that need to create the perfect seal. I'll take advantage of the SOLIDWORKS 2015 functionality that allows me to pre-select faces, so I'm not going to bore you with uh, what I need in order to select these faces. And I'm just going to translate them maybe based on this direction. About 4 millimeters. And it's done. Let's switch back to the main assembly. And I'm just going to run the join command one more time in order to get also the golden part inside this part. Let's open it again in its own window. And as you can imagine, now I have a volume that's completely enclosed by these bodies. Actually, it's only one body. So I'm going to run intersect on this solid body. Too bad I, I need another component or another entity. Let's use the right plane for that. And let's see. So I'm getting a preview of what I, uh, what I need. I'm just going to remove the outside, these two major bodies. And I'm going to solve those to merge as much as possible of whatever is left. You can see the result. I'm getting one body that's of interest and a few bodies that are more like a noise. Fortunately, another fun new functionality in SOLIDWORKS 2015 allows me to delete the ones that I don't select. So that I'm going to use the keep bodies option. And this is exactly what I want. If I switch back to the main assembly and I show the hidden components and just bring them back. So let's select all the hidden ones and show them. If I do again a section through my part, you're going to find out that now, in the middle of this, I have my fluid. And of course, I can calculate its volume and its mass. Thank you very much for coming with me in uh, the Boolean Wernerland. I hope I'm going to be able to see you again in one of our training classes and explore some more exciting stuff from SOLIDWORKS. Thank you.